uh, bag that it comes in. It's a textured rubber ton, um, built-in ice cooler, and best never stops, yada yada yada. Anyway, it's a really good quality cover. Put that aside. And a nice bat sock. So what we have here is a Ton Simo 54, which is the bat that Lendl Simmons would use. Now, I don't know if Lendl's currently still sponsored by Ton, um, but one thing I do know about this bat is once again, it's got no edge stamps and it's got his name on it. So this is his actual player bat, or one of them. I'm going to take it out of the wrapping because it's actually with me for knocking. Now the um, SS bat that I had, the other player's bat, I didn't do a uh, post knock on that because I wanted to surprise the owner. Um, but he said that bat was uh, just sensational. But I must say it had a very condensed middle. It was uh, pretty much localised to a small point on the bat and I think that was pretty much to do with the huge bow on it causing an uneven press. So off comes the wrapping. Looks like we've got a little bit of repair work to do as well. A few dents in its travels. This has got um, seven stars which means it's not quite the very top uh, ton. I think the gladiators they give them ten, uh, nine stars or something like that. But it's a pretty nice bat. It's already got the Fibertech um, pre-fitted just like a player would have. Um, let's see how many grains we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fairly evenly spaced. Tiny little blemish there. Who knows what's under the huge stickers? Stickers are the current ones. Blue. As you can see there, no stamping. It's got the stamp on it. So, three rubber inserts standard ss or ton grip so serene sports got this zigzag grip feel of the bat is round handle uh, medium to thin thickness i'd say um, it's more to do with the grip you can make it thicker with a different grip but it's a round handle. Uh, it's got a few little dents in that, but I can steam those out. I'm not too fussed about that. Let's see what the actual specs are. So yeah, 42 millimeter edge. It's a mid blade. I'm thinking it's about 65. So this could actually be made to the current specs. So it looks to be about 64 to 65 mil spine. Really thick toe. Oh, look at that. Let's notice that. See, that's near 30 mil. Uh, it's got a bit of a duck bill going on here. Very, very full. You can see that as I turn it around. Pretty much no concaving there. I'll just put a flat surface across that. Well, maybe half a millimetre is taken out there. There's hardly anything taken out. That typical really roughed toe before the actual, I don't know, toe guard come on. What I did with the other one, um, which didn't see, is I just shoe good straight over that so you could still see the name. Uh, width. Okay, so 107.2 with the edge tape and shoulders 15 mil. So, nice specs. Let's see what the weight is. I'll tell you what I think the weight is. 211 uh, in my hands. So 210.6, uh, so scuffed that will come out feeling 211 and a half. So that's pretty much the uh, specs. I mean, it's a full bat, 
big thick toe and it picks up its its weight i wouldn't say it's a light bat by any but by any stretch but lendl's a, a hitter so let's give it a tap up and see what it sounds like Once again, the depth of sound just travels right through the whole blade. When they're a really good bat, it's just got that nice sound that runs all the way through. Now I can tell this bat pretty much is all metal. So it's just petering out there, but it's, it's actually a really nice feeling. Sounds really nice. Yeah, pretty impressed with that. I mean, look how full it is down the back of the bat. What do we got as far as camber? Okay, so it's probably three mil camber. Um, so it's not a fully flat face. Yeah, pretty nice bat. So that's a player's bat. All right, we're gonna turn it around and we'll bounce the ball on it. Okay, unbelievably this is now a take two because the external microphone slightly came loose and created a whole lot of feedback. So I'm going to do this one again, but I know now how this goes. So four piece ball. This feels beautiful. Absolutely power up everywhere. And power down the bottom and in the middle. Really lovely piece of timber, which I'm not surprised with. So, do the jukes ball now. And this will go off. really hard not to hit the roof with this, but when I did it yesterday, just... Oh, that's great. Anyway, there's hardly a seam mark in it. So it's not a soft pressed bat by any stretch. Uh, it's just a soft piece of willow, pressed really well. And yeah, really, really like this. I actually like this more than the Moen Ali, uh, which had a very condensed sweet spot. This one is pretty much from there to there. It's all hitting area, whether you middle it or you're slightly off. Really nice bat. And it's not the traditional Jatin Serene profile. It's very similar to the Moen in that the middle is mid. So yeah, really nice bat. That's the Lendl Simmons player bat, Simo 54 with no stampings. This is one of the ones he could have selected and used. Thanks guys.